Folks, hello, it's me. It's Zydefer, Kill Squirrel Loggington, and welcome, 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 welcome to another marathon weekend. It has been a whole week, and I have not done quite so much grinding as I wanted to, but I did get a fair bit of grind in. Uh, I got a, mm, got a few hours. We're, uh, we're pretty much set to carry on. Uh, I even have a small backup team, just in case. So, that's good. And uh, I've made my social media posts. I'm just finishing up a couple of things. And I am just closing out of programs and opening different programs. I remember I remember to change the stream title. I actually remember to change the stream title. I'm so proud of myself. I, I'm it's such a basic, basic thing, but I'm so proud of myself for managing to do it on time. Ah. Mm. Water. So, hello. Uh, last time we really got a, well, last weekend, we got a good concrete start on Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Uh, which is mysteriously silent on my PC. Hold on, I'm just, oh, I had it muted. Okay, there we go. There we go. I, I had it muted for uh, grinding purposes. Sometimes when you grind in a game, you just want to uh, throw a Spotify playlist up in the background. And I had the game muted, so I was, I was desperately troubleshooting that. And it turned out I just needed to push the unmute button. That's what life is like as a streamer sometimes. Uh, it's not a real stream unless you're having an audio issue of some sort. And boy, howdy, have I had issues. <sighs> uh, that said, I got some grind done. I got a second team lined up. Uh, we can swap in one or two or even all three of the new teammates. I just have to, you know, figure out if we want to. But for the most part, uh, this will just be side cases, main story cases. We just started Chapter 3, I believe. So we will be, uh, we're still in the sort of, hey, this is a Digimon. It's your digital pal who's fun to be with. Hey, did you know there are other Digimon on the internet? More information about the internet can be found on the internet. Sort of things. We're still really gearing up to actually have a plot. Although, with our body, like, in a coma in the hospital, and our mind roaming free, using avatar data pieces we, we shoved together, uh... It's a little, it's a little weird, but, you know, what do we need a body for? What do we need a physical form for? We have cyberspace data. We are made of star stuff and cyber optics, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it's nice to be back. It's, it's good to stay. It feels psychologically good to, uh, have this sort of stream in me. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you folks are here. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on YouTube, I salute and celebrate you. Because you show up. You, you friggin' show up. Way to go. Uh, 
I respect your presence. So, let's shift into Digimon mode. Chad, you can come down here and hang out with my ears. Yeah, there you go. Um, game is not playing. Why are you not I don't, otherwise my window is being as suitable. It's the same as suitable every time, you guys. Nothing's changed. And hello, Silver. It is good to see you. After I've made my my introductory speeches and all, it's it, it's good to see you. Um Is stream chat being cut off here? Let me just um uh, have a window please. You know, let me nudge this back. Just, there we go. And now I can pull it down a little more. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that's not too small to me. Ah. Alright. Okay. We're ready to start. So. Uh, as you can see, by the differences here, I ground for about two and a half hours ish. It's not much, but we're still very much in the early stages of the game. Uh, as you can see, our party is still Unimon, Ice Devamon, and Inriamon. On the farm, however, right now they're training, but we can uh, interrupt that a little bit. We've got Kudamon, Armadillamon, and Hawkmon. Uh, this is essentially Team B. I can swap any of these guys in or out as we like. Uh, like, it might be nice to have two rookies and a backup champion in my party to kind of diversify the lineup. Not sure on that one. Still kind of mulling on who to take. Uh... Yeah, you know, I think we'll make it, um... Just for right now. Let's swap Hawkmon into the party in place of Unimon. And let Unimon get some farm training. And... Armadillamon in place of... Ice Gephamon. And we'll have Ginryumon sort of uh, teach them as they go. So they're not gonna be very good yet, but we are gonna try and and raise them up. Thank you, I'm on the leader here. Have them train in like nimbleness. Uh, as you can see, we've got the farm running. A little explanation of the farm is that while they are on the farm island, they will either uh, gain gain ex experience in particular stats. They'll either develop items for you, or they can investigate. Now, I had I left these on investigate for a while, so we're gonna have a couple of extra cases back at the agency. Uh, I think it's really cool that while I'm just sitting around uh, playing World of Warcraft and sleeping, I can have my Digimon do my job for me. I think that's great. I can outsource. I can just be a jerk and make them work while I screw off. Uh, so here we are back at the Karime Detective Agency. And I've forgotten what we're doing. Weren't you meeting Nokia in Galactic Park? Friend or not, a case is a case. Don't slack off. Okay, we could go to Galactic Park and meet Nokia. We could, uh... 
Take a couple of side cases. Mm, I think let's uh, clean up one of these wanted hacker cases. Look for something precious. I don't... Okay, so these are just basic go into Kowloon and fight things. Missions. Like, I'm going to take one just to do it. Hello, Shatari. Hello, uh, no, hello Saria Song. I'm just going to take one of these, uh, do it. We can throw these in between other cases to do, to have stuff done, but... And hello, Koopa! Uh, so here on Kelly level 2, there's a wanted hacker. We're going to go find him. Eat him up. I don't know if my current team will be enough to beat him up. Uh, we will find... Ooh, there's something I should do before, uh... Before I get into anything. I only just remembered. I should turn the battle difficulty down from hard. I had it set to hard to uh, get more experience. Kowloon belongs to the hackers now. The strong, the smart, the badass. And the only rule here is do whatever the heck you want. Okay. Yeah, um... So that guy's cat is not a valid target to fight. My digi party has been assembled in chat. Uh, maybe, sort of. Anyway. Oh good, we got shot. Hold on, let me just see what that... Uh, earth damage, 70% accuracy. Okay. Anyway, somewhere on this floor is a nefarious hacker we have to battle. So I'm gonna talk to some people and... And like I said, we're just leveling the, uh... the side folks. I just happen to think Armadillamon is adorable, and Hawkmon is pretty good too. So, what color are the lenses of Kyoko Kurume's sunglasses? Uh, pink, I believe. Yeah, that sounds right. Ask any trivia question. Yeah, right now, uh, Ginryuman can flatten almost anything that gets thrown at me. I'm just looking for this evil hacker. This is a kind hacker. This is an evil hacker. The relationships between types and attributes is the second most important thing. When did I pick up the armadillo? Uh, I covered this just a second ago. I raised a Team B off stream. And I decided to swap some mons out into the PC and let them raise on the farm while I... Uh, build up these, the second group, a little bit. Yeah, it was, it was literally just seconds before you popped in that I mentioned that, so... Don't feel too bad for missing it. I've only been live about ten, about, uh, five minutes. So, there is that. I'm starting to wonder if I shouldn't go live, uh, like, ten minutes before broadcast. Give people even more time to filter in, but... I feel like if people, uh, when people come in and they see a... Starting soon, please wait screen... They just leave again. Like, I feel like that's how it works. Anyway, uh... No, oh, that's a dead end. I still don't remember my way around this Kowloon. That battle victory theme is basically the virtual racing course select theme. You know, I believe it. Uh, I haven't played virtual racing in years, but it does... have a familiar ring to it.
Unfortunately, we can't select a chorus. We can only select Kowloon. It's the hacker from the blacklist. Let's talk to him. I never really wanted to be a hacker in the first place, I swear. But I, but I, ah -ha. Okay, I guess we're fighting him anyway. Oh, hello, Fire Whiskers. I, I don't remember seeing you here before. Hope you're well. Just obliterate him with Spear Breath. I love that we can breathe Spear the people. It feels so ridiculous. Ah, uh, alright. Go ahead and use the specialty skill for Armand. Oh, it's a leaf. Yeah, I... For some reason, I thought your, um... The channel was something else. Okay, now I'm... Now I know who you are. I follow you on, uh... Mastodon. We did drive on Saturday for years, I remember. I was threatened into being a hacker or else, but now I see the light. I'm gonna go back and stand up for myself now, thanks to you. Looks like the hacker is repentant now. Time to go back to the office and report this. I wasn't streaming for a long time. I, I got over my, uh, and and you I? No. And why? Desarian would thank me for remembering that and is French. I'm sure. Oh, hi, Dazarian. <laughs> anyway, through the power of uh, beating a person crapless, we successfully change their mind about illegal activity. Was I trying to pronounce a new Yes, I was trying to pronounce a new I. And I un understand now that it's pronounced Inya. Inya. <laughs> Inya. It's, uh... It's feline. For boredom. Inya. Oh, um... Pink is correct. Uh, answering trivia questions from the Digimon on the farm. The Digimon on the farm are so bored with their training that they send you text messages. And if you answer their trivia questions correctly, they get motivated to work harder on their training. I don't know how that works. I don't know why that works. But it works. Oh, this is really not necessary. Wow. I want that cat obliterated. Anyway, we're just making our way back out. Uh, this is why I will be spacing out the Chase the Wanted Hackers missions and whatnot from Investigation. They're really not that interesting. They're just like, go into the computer world and fight some dudes. But they do contain... Lot text. So I will be doing them on screen as opposed to off screen grinding. Which is a shame because they would help with the grinding, I think. But it's, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. That's a dead end. That's not fine. Uh, sometimes I'll say something's fine and it's not fine, and you have to just accept that it is fine. Because otherwise you get fined. Okay, now we can pop back out and mark that case complete. Like I said, we could probably uh, keep going with these. Yay. I see you've been working hard from Mirai. Nice job. You two are building quite the unique dynamic, if I do say so myself. And the other investigation case was, uh, look for something I dropped. 
it's just a metal mission. It's the same as the previous one. Go into the computer world, pick up an object, come back out. Not hugely interesting. We'll do it anyway, but later. Right now we have a friend to meet at the park. So let's get out to the park and meet our friend. That would be Shinjuku, I think. I'm not actually sure. He might be here? Barada, is that you? You know, um, I'm not actually sure where the park is, come to think of it. I need to go back to the... I need to go back to Nakano and, um... Double check where I'm supposed to be going. Just follow the line. Until you don't follow the line anymore. Uh, in Galacta- Oh, right! Galacta Park is online! Wait, what's this? Oh, I can connect jump from over here. Okay. Right, right, Galacta Park is online. I'm meeting him... The community area? No. It's one of these. I know it. The entrance? Uh, I may have to look up where exactly Collector Park is, because I... Between streams, I seem to have become an idiot, and that's not good. Open space? No. Okay, I'm gonna just real quick Google where Collector Park is, because I've, um, completely forgotten. Galactic Park, uh... Kowloon Level 1, okay. In Kowloon. Yeah, it's a roulette wheel. My inner compass is a roulette wheel. Alright, where are you? That, yeah, there she is. Okay. Hang on. What is it with you guys? Do you want something from me? You got a nice one, don't you? What do you mean, a nice one? You're gonna make us come out and say it? We're Zacks and Hackers. You can figure that much out by yourself. You're not a kid, after all. Not a kid, what? You're kidding me. Whoa, hang on. Could you not stare at me like that? Give me the creeps. So, they're apparently harassing her for a Digimon. What? Wait, this, this isn't what flirting is supposed to be, is it? Ew, no way! What are you talking about? Yeah. Hang on, Paprika, where were you? You're late! And because you were late, look at this situation I'm in. They've got me dead to rights here, who knows what they'll do to me? What the heck are you talking about? Who the heck are you, a friend of hers? Oh, you want to get into it? Alrighty, then I'll rip the two of you apart, real simple. Your account, now! Ah, account theft. But we don't stand for account theft around these parts. That gets you speared in the face. Or, um... Or windfall. That works. Or windfall. We can now synthesize a Demi Devimon if we want a mighty head. We might. I'm not 
minutes. I won't forget this. Aw, oh, man, what's a Zaxxon? Are all hackers like that? Well, it's this isometric shooter th Nah, never mind. Coming on to you suddenly, looking at you luridly, going after you all lustfully like that. You really suck. Doesn't matter how much I'm rocking this bod. Huh? What about just now? Huh? They weren't flirting with me, they were account raiders. Account raiders, huh? Like the ones you hear about on the news? I guess I remember hearing there's a lot of that going around in Kowloon. So that means there are a lot of hackers like the ones we just ran into? In other words, my virtue was at risk? Oh my, Paprika. You'll keep me safe, right? Please? Ah, <sighs> Penguin. Oh, Penguin. Somehow, your senses immediately indicate that this is my designated girlfriend for the game. Because, you know, the game was not written with a female protagonist in mind. Ow. Uh, please ignore that. I did not just slam my elbow into the table by accident trying to have a drink. That's your imagination. Ignore that. Mm. Ooh, text messages. Lately, all Sakura talks about is Jimmy can this, Jimmy can that. Is he that great? I don't really know. How are you doing? You're still recovering, so don't overexert yourself. Don't work yourself too hard either, Mom. I don't know if that's actually our mother, but it's our mom now. Alright, so, uh... So we've met with her, and now we're going into the park proper to look for what would have been her partners, Agumon and Gabumon. Is it weird that I, I faintly very faintly resent this game for unlocking all the memories of watching Digimon as a kid and like I'm 41 years old why do I have memory space reserved for what what an Agumon is but at the same time Agumon is adorable y'all and I kind of I'm kind of glad I've got him in my head so uh In conclusion, Digimon is a land of contrast. I don't know. Yeah, my mid-tier B team are able to one-hit KO uh, most of these Digimon out here. These guys are getting close to evolving. Uh, I just want to get Armadillomon up to level 15. And potentially... Uh, Potentially, that'll unlock some evolutions that I want to... Silver, I'm gonna throw you into the ocean. Thanks for destroying my brain while I'm trying to think of... of, th of, of, of things. My brain is completely destroyed. Uh, I have no... I have no brain left. Hooray. My entire brain is taken up with the uh, Digimon Adventure theme song now. And that, uh, that opening animation where all of the gamers fall into a spiral in the middle of the screen. And, uh... Oh, man, I... They're all falling into a vortex doing, like, Sonic Adventure poses. And all I can think is, like, that looks fun. And I think that might be the wrong... ...message. Guess he's down on level 1. Well, no problem! We'll just keep going! So, this is Kowloon level 2. Seems like the security level is higher here. I'm counting on you, okay? 
Uh, is this in fact how Moon Level 2? Okay. Can I use this exit yet? No. Alright, we gotta go back and we gotta take the elevator to level 2. Because this is not level 2. I always wanted to become a di I've always wanted to become a digital assistant, yeah. I've always wanted to live on someone's phone and tell them what to do. Which is weird because, you know... You don't even have to push a button to make me go, Oh, okay, you can do that later. I just have like auto off features. Auto time delay features. Alright, let's go up. What's this? Hey, did you know there's a track on this island? Was there a train too? That's probably true. That's a great guess, I'm impressed. Now I'm a pink tube? No, I'm just very flat. And I have no legs. Uh, one day, perhaps, I will develop legs. It is not this day. Let's go to the Digi Lab and real quick evolve uh, a couple of Digimon. Let's evolve my, my team. Like, uh, Hawkmon can now Digivolve to basically anything in this line. And I'm not sure which one to go for. Uh... I think I'll take... This top? No. Yeah, I think I'll take this top one. I believe this is his canon evolution, quote unquote. But I'm gonna take the top one and see what it is. Goodbye, Hawkman. Let's see what you become. Akilamon! That's not bad. And Armadillo Mon, I already know that I want the uh, top evolution for. Go Horned Eagle. Yeah, more or less. Armadillo Mon is now Anklamon. Him big, him shiny, him have mace. I are that yeah. Um, I think for the purposes of a balanced party, I'm going to swap out Ice Dev. No, I think I'll keep these guys and keep them leveled for a bit. Um. Right? Sakura told me to give it a shot, but the lyrics were too annoying. I can understand that. I've bounced off a lot of bands because their lyrics were annoying. What, you were worried about me? I appreciate it. You're welcome, Mom. Okay. So then we got a dinosaur, a dragon, and a bird. And we're walking into the digital world. We're gonna go find, uh... Agumon and... Agumon. And meanwhile, the, the, the other Digimon here are still stuck back at rookie stage, which is sad for them. What do we have? Glide Horn. Let's see it, just because. It's a flying bull charge. So yeah. This is a perfectly good team, too. There are no wrong answers, in my opinion, when it comes to Digimon teams. Um... You can certainly ask some wrong questions. And that will lead you towards answers that are not particularly... ...desirable. But... If, for example, your question is, how can I level my team most efficiently, the answer in that case is to fill your team with poop. In which case, you may want to ask a different question, but the answer was correct. Yeah, I mean, 
mean, you can have temporarily wrong answers, like... Ooh, I'm putting my Earth Digimon up against a Wind Digimon, and I'm getting my butt screwed off. In which case, the solution is to change to a different flavor of butt. And then it'll stop getting screwed off. Maybe it'll even get screwed on. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> uh, if you want your butt screwed on tight, Digimon might be for you. I don't know. I don't know how things work anymore. I've, um, I've lost the plot. Anyway, using our, uh, Super Dragon here, our Super Colliding Super Dragon, we're pretty much just butt stomping everything in our path, and explain the plot, uh, Due to a logout incident with a Lovecraftian creature, we are currently made of data, and that makes us a detective. That's the plot. <laughs> uh, we're currently helping a friend find the missing Digimon in cyberspace. In our capacity as a detective. Not on level 2, either. And nothing else to do but level 3. Yay. Level 3, um... Alright. I don't know if I can get to level 3, come to think of it. Uh... That means we have to go all the way back. Uh, this is... This is kind of a forest grinding segment in itself. Like, you have to... ...cover the entire floor, and of course there are... ...random encounters... ...slaying out of your wazoo. But... ...as we cover the floor, we're, we're getting levels. That's good. Team B is coming along fine. We're getting scan data. That's that's very nice. We're leveling up in camaraderie. So our Digimon are are more likely to work together well. And in general, things are going fine. It's good to see so much of Kowloon. Throughout the uh, 50 to 60 hours or more we're playing this. I like Kowloon, but it is a place where nothing ever happens. Much like the internet itself. But yeah, we're building up camaraderie here. That's, that's important, some Digimon involved, because they are comrades. Which makes them sound communist, actually. And I cannot envision what a communist Digimon would look like. I pretty much associate the entire series heavily with capitalism because they were, after all, small plastic toys before they were, uh, before they were a video game. Worker Mon. Yeah. All right, I can I can go with that. Worker Mon. <laughs> get off of this side of the... Maybe I don't take your stairs. Oh! Akilamon is now fast enough that he's going first. 
That's neat. Alright, I've got to get to level 3. And that means that I need to, uh... Get past that one fire... No, not that way. I need to get past a firewall that's in the way. That means I may need to restructure my party again. Or at least fiddle with it some. Because uh, the hacking tools work differently when you have different diff Digimon in your party. It's a little strange. Uh, like, for example... I don't know if I have an example. Yeah, hacking skills. Uh, there are four or more Digimon who are rookie or better. I may have to, uh... Figure out a combination or de-Digivolve someone in order to get four Digimon in my party. Or I could just... Yeah, I'm gonna need four Digimon in my party. So I think I may have to Digivolve one down. Because there just aren't enough... There isn't enough memory space. <laughs> to, uh... I fit another one in my party. Alright, so... I'm gonna D-Digivolve... Ginryumon back down to Dracomon. And we're gonna level him up in a different way. Uh, I don't consider this a loss. Because I think we keep all of the moves that we unlock as Ginryumon. Yeah. All of these moves that we unlocked as Ginryumon we keep. So, leveling him up a different way will just give him more moves or more different moves to use. More differenter moves. Yeah, that's... More differenter. G good word thing to me. Uh, and because he takes up the least room, we move Akutamon into my party. And now we have Firewall Crack 2. So the game will occasionally make you do little tricks like that. And uh, that's why it's a good idea to keep a wide variety of Digimon on the farm and in your bank. <laughs> So I guess we're leveling uh, Dracomon again. I'm fine with that, I like Dracomon. Hey, do you come to Kowloon often? I was thinking earlier. Kowloon has a sort of dangerous vibe to it, how can I put it? It's just weird or something. The one thing that really struck me after coming here was how dangerous hackers really are. So glad you came along when you did. Ah! Whoa! Did you see something over there just now? You saw it, right? You had to have seen it. I just caught a glimpse of it, but it was there. Don't tell me there was nothing there. It was absolutely there. I swear I'm not lying. It was there! I saw it! Where'd it go? So I was over here, and it was there. Wait, no. I was here, and it was there, right? What did it look like? Well, I was here for a second, so I don't know the size or shape, but... But... I was so scared, I guess I plumb forgot! <laughs> well, come on, don't give me that look. I don't need your pity. Oh, really? I really saw it, or I'm pretty sure I did. Can I really just imagine it? 
Well, let's just say it was that then. If you're willing to go with me on that. Yes, I totally overreacted. I'm sorry for causing emotion. In all honesty, I believe she saw something. You should give Jimmy Ken's music a listen. Ah, Jimmy Ken, why are you so rad? Looks like you're pretty infatuated. Is that good? I don't think he's that good. I've heard the dude's music. He's not that great. Well, let's head deeper in. You know, I used to be a Saxon. When I got my Digimon, I wanted to convert them so bad. Once I heard about the dark conversions, <laughs> I got right out of there. All that justice and pride stuff, way too crazy for me. Yeah, it costs some money, and yeah, it's not exactly safe, but the thrill is something else. That's what hacking's about. I have beaten this game, and I don't know exactly what she's talking about. Uh, shrug. You want to go further? Watch your feet. If you fall, there's no way to clamber back out. Be sure to keep a tight hold. I believe that is a metaphor for... something. Uh, we're gonna check the side passages for treasure before we do the obvious thing and touch the progression button. Because I want more treasure. And I want a couple levels on uh, Dracomon before whatever happens next. Oh! We have new Digimon, including one of my favorites, Koi Agumon. The Digimon that will be least pleasant to step on in the night. You know, it's one of my favorites, so I immediately beat the hell out of it. Legomon? Yes. Legomon. Earth Digimon in the party, I just noticed. That's not ideal. Particularly not against wind types like this one, but we also have a wind type in the party, so it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Nothing bad will happen, really. Uh, Dracomon is already back up to level 6. So, it's not gonna be long before we're sending him down another line of evolution. Him or her, I can't tell. It's difficult to tell the gender of Digimon. I don't know if Data has genders. They can have presentations. Yeah, like like PowerPoint. Grand Rock 2. Electric Boogaloo. I love that it just uses the Mohawk to attack. That's so beautiful. The animations in this game are... They're not always top quality. Oh, shoot. Well, that sucks. Uh. I could use a full revival spray. It's not really what I want to do at this time. I do want to go back and revive him, though. Uh. Oh, yeah, the Digimon in back will level up. I'm gonna go ahead and. Swap in Kudamon for a minute while Dracomon is incapacitated. Kudamon's overdue for leveling, actually. Uh, let's go back and heal first. So yeah, this will take a bit. That's just the reality of a dungeon crawler. Uh, 
That's why these are the marathon weekends, folks, because, uh... It takes a long time to do anything. Kudamon, what can you... Did you evolve into? Uh, you cannot did evolve into... I believe this is one of the winged poop monsters? Human Spirit of Light. I don't know what that is. But it looks like all of the things it can evolve into are light type, and they would all put our party memory over limit. So that would suck. Now come on, what can you... 14 or higher, or 16 or higher. Uh, alright, yeah. And Anklemon... Gotta get into the 20s and 30s. Same with Kiyomon. So right now, Kudamon could digivolve, but it would put us over the memory limit. So, I guess... I could send Kudamon back into the farm system. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and send Kudamon back into the farm. You have served your purpose. Thank you. And then Dracomon will be able to evolve without me being concerned. Uh, if you don't get into Jimmy Ken, what did we talk about back in school? The farm upstate? Nah, nah, it's just an island. If this isn't like an Omlia situation, they're off in training. They're leveling up to become better Digimon. Alright, let's get that. Omlius. Yeah, um, the Ursula... Vernon? No. Ursula K. Le Guin? No. Yes, no. The ones who walk away from Omlia, Omlet, Om, Omleus, Omlus, Omelas. I'm gonna try every pronunciation of this word until it comes out correctly. I still have two Earths. Um, I think they're just. I actually don't know how Earth works in Digimon. Uh, I don't know what planet we're on right now. I'm not on a planet, I think. Ow. Dracomon! Why are you vulnerable to literally everything? Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. I win for all. Alright. Healthy, but it's not really helping him physically. Alright, there's box here. Capsule. Alright, let's try the other direction. Hi, I see you. Don't worry, we'll be back. We're just gathering treasures because I'm I'm compul explain the pl oh god. Um We were converted to Data. Right now, we're helping our friend, uh, Nokia, find a couple of Digimon that she lost in the digital world. Agumon and Gabumon. I, I think he watched the rest of the, like, actual rest of the screen. Uh, I'm currently using the B-team. Like, a secondary team that I'm also evolving. Most of the first team is tucked away in the PC, or on the farm. And I'm just gathering treasure before we advance the plot a little bit. Uh, did that answer the explain the plot question? I don't know. I'm Ninjamon Metal. I don't know what Ninjamon is, though. I don't remember Ninjamon. 
Can I send them to the server for the weekend? Yeah. Uh, interesting, like I... Hmm. Earlier, I pointed out that... One of the things you can do with the farm is have them train for stats. One of the other things you can do with the farm is, uh... You can have them do your job as a detective and investigate cases. So while I was playing World of Warcraft and sleeping in, I had Digimon on the farm look, looking around the internet for cases. Did anyone Digivolve while you were gone? I Digivolved Dracomon back down to Dracomon. Or Ginryumon back down to Dracomon. Because of a game mechanic where you needed four Digimon in your party in order to utilize a system crack and open a firewall to a new area. Thanks for being around. It's not much, but I sent you something. Check it out. Uh, we'll do that the moment we have access to the farm again. Memory up! Oh, good. I need this. I need this so bad. So we've inserted an extra memory slot into the Digivice. And now we have 30 memory capacity instead of 25, which means I'm going to go back to the PC and, uh, dig someone back out. Possibly evolve Tutamon and put them in the party properly. Memory expansion boards for the Digivice are absolutely critical, in my opinion. Uh, they are what allow you to pull shenanigans later. Alright, um, back down to the PC. Because I want to show off who's in farm and who's not, and uh, maybe pull out Kudamon and evolve. I think we'll have the memory space to evolve. New Eggmon is always sold out of Ramic Bait. They are. A Betamon, also known as Lucario. I thought the Betamon was, uh, Rhyhorn or Rhyperior or something. No, not Rhyperior. Well, Rhyhorn either. Whatever the right Rhino one was, it wasn't I'm confused. Anyway, let's grab Kudamon. You can get in the back row. And you can evolve now. Uh, let's evolve you to whatever this is. I don't know what it is. Other beta deer. Oh, okay. What are you? So goodbye, you cute little holy weasel. And hello. Rub him on. Oh, you got a sword butt! You got a yin yang and a sword butt, and you're all cute. I'm glad to have you in the party. Or high. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna be good with this. We uh, might have to change out a bit later, but... Let's talk a Kilamon in the... No. Uh, that's a Glaive. Ribamon and its twin Warglades! Uh, let's... Tuck Dracomon in back for now. Because I don't want to have two Earth Digimon in the party at the same time. It gets awkward. Alright, let's uh let's engage with the plot. Let's see what happens next. I mean it's safe? No, that's not safe. Safe.
Uh, hi. Hi. Pardon me if I could just scooch right past. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to focus. I've been working on solving this puzzle for ages. I'm so close. Uh, sure, that's totally healthy. What's the puzzle, anyway? One of the most troubling ones of our time. How do I get a girlfriend? Oh, oh, yeah, well, that's tough. I kind of totally got the... I kind of totally got to go, though. And that's tough. It's more than tough. It's ridiculous. I'm almost 30 and I'm freaking no one. You don't know my pain. Oh, good. We found the incel section of the internet. You'll never know my pain. Just let me alone with my sorrow. One day I will find my way to a super hot chick. Well, that guy's got some core problems that need working out. But I think we need to focus on finding Agumon and the others. Fine, fine, fine. I'll help, okay? I'll help. Just let me ask around and see if I can get you some good advice. Stay around Kowloon, though. It's already crazy enough as it is. I don't want to have to go hunting around for you. You got keyword, how to get a girlfriend. Uh, thought said for a second that you wanted to be a super hot chick. We found the non-binary account hacker earlier, actually. Uh, that was interesting. Someone being gay and doing crimes, and the resolution was simply that they decided to stop doing so many crimes. First you start singing, and then you get the estrogen, and then you get a hot cosplay girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, that's how it works for most... Well, I don't know, Cheryl Gnome is an outlier, it should probably not be counted. Alright, let's see if we can find someone to talk to about how to get a girlfriend. Yes, we do need to solve this problem before we're allowed to move on. Okay, Rekamon. Um, I want to see what Razor Wind does. Spin to win. Turn this into a Beyblade. Dang, Ronka Lee is a programmer. Oh, that is... That is a fair point, actually. There's a guy. Hey, excuse me, are you a hot girlfriend? How do you get someone to go out with you? Why in the world are you asking hackers that? Uh, what about speed dating? You got keyword Mixer. Yeah, you should stream on Mixer. Oh wait, that's defunct, never mind. I love the self-awareness of why are you asking hackers that, though. My apologies to the hackers in the audience. My apologies to the, uh... To the hackers in the audience... Who are watching me at 8 o'clock... On a Saturday night. You don't talk to me. I've almost figured it out. Almost. Yo, uh, one way to get a girlfriend is not to tell the hot girl talking to you not to talk to you. Huh? I should try speed dating. No. Why would you even say that? I need a pure, simple love. Something as trashy as speed dating would never do the trick. Well. That unlocked a response, but it didn't unlock the correct response. So, we need to work harder. Hmm, I think Repamon may be... You know, I want to hold on. Out here, sir. I want to hold on. I want to hold on. I want to be put on hold. I want to check his stat. I want to check Repamon's stat. Uh, more intelligence than attack. Yeah, I should probably be using magic attacks, maybe. Who are you? Physical and physical. Okay. Yeah, you're a magic Digimon. Uh, let's 
let's see. I wonder how far back I have to go. I'm really not sure. I guess we, uh... Wander around a bit and see if anyone else has suggestions for how to get a, a girlfriend. This, this is the weirdest side quest. I don't see anybody on this floor. Now I think there might have been more people to question back on floor three. Lighter emblem. Um, when you say that, I have the feeling that you mean. Wait, no, this light. I have the feeling that you mean like Conway's Game of Life glider. But what I imagine is the uh, the Macintosh paper airplane glider game. Which mostly just means that I picture, like, floaty, drifty, uh, air current riding paper airplane. Uh, Glider is kind of a big name Macintosh game in that for, for many years it was one of the few Macintosh exclusive games of any type. Oh, I love you, Toy Agumon. Damn. I personally am not a hot girlfriend, but I am, I suppose, a girlfriend, and... I don't think I've ever been on a physical date. I wouldn't know what to do. Physical world? What do you even do on a physical world date? You like... You go a place and do a thing, and that... I just don't see the point in it. Drink something yummy and start talking about Pokemon. I... yeah, um, I could see that, I guess. You know, I'm just not seeing anybody on this floor. Hmm. Oh, you're new. Hi, Pentamon. I'll beat you up now and steal your data. So we are an hour into the stream. And I gotta be real with you guys. Functionally nothing has happened. And uh, that's the kind of game this is, to be honest. It's really a lot of dungeon crawler... Craw crawling... crawlerness. Well, we're getting the level. That's good. We can synthesize a toy Agumon. Not true. I beat up some Lego. That is very true. I'm I'm a Lego fighter. There is so much in my way. Didn't go fuck. Yeah. All right. That's true. I did not get a, uh, a haw. I did not get a Taoist Fox, though. That's a different line. The Taoist Fox is the evolution of the Renamon line. Which, you know, if you know a Digimon, you probably know Renamon. Uh, 
Uh, there is no one over here. I guess they're all over on the other side. I feel kind of like a dipshit for running all over the place there, but... Is she booted? I love... It has somehow never occurred to me to wonder about Renamon's religious affiliation. Well, yeah, everyone is kind of a, a tank against our attack. Our basic attack. I'm not using... Oh. Good job. I fell asleep. Renamon, Renamon. Probably Nevermon. Uh... I don't know. It'll be a while. Like, there will probably be a Renamon, but right now there is Repamon. Who is casually sleeping through this battle, bless you. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I hope. Yeah. Deleted. Dude, Cinnamon. How is Wormmon doing? Wormmon went up and down some levels and, uh... I think Wormmon is currently Anklemon. What is it? How to get a girlfriend? How should you get a girlfriend? <laughs> For sure, it's all about a smiling face. Smile and the world smiles with you, as they say. Did they say that? I don't say that. Let's let's keep checking around. I see more more lock in the area. And yes, the, the Banamons are kind of cute, and I sort of want one. Oh, really? Repamon is turning out to be a bit of a, a disappointment, actually. I can't really blame Repamon, though. I keep making Repamon do physical attacks when the stats are suited for magic. So I should look into the magic portion of the attack tree. Uh, magic attack. Alright. There we go. Yes? Okay, Ice Devimon sent me something else. No two people are not on fire. How do you get a girlfriend? How do you get a girlfriend? You tell me, I wanna know. Alright. Alright, we already unlocked him, so we can't use the keyword. A smile. We can't tell him to smile more. There's a guy who's unlocked up here. And I think I saw one more further on. So... Aquaman is uh, not really my strongest attacker either. I have to look at those stats later. Well, Dracomon can level up again. That's nice. I'm gonna be using the, uh, the syllable Mon so many times. Yeah, these streams. I'm starting to get afraid. Starting to get a little bit of afraid. And 
Saturday month? Yeah, bro. I gotta check his stats, though. Okay, baby, man. Oh, no. Now I, too, am a Digimon. Okay, I guess... I'm gonna... Hey, how'd you meet your girl? She's... Wow! Well, let's talk about something else. It's kind of embarrassing. We met through our Digimon. See, we both had the same one, and well, it just happened. Wait, for real? Digimon will get you chicks? Obviously, that is the correct answer. That's gotta be the correct answer. It's Digimon. You talk about Digimon with, with the ladies, and... And they will make fun of you. Honestly, if you tried to talk about Digimon with me, I would make fun of you, and then I'd talk about Digimon with you. So, really, um... It's kind of both? What do you want, Digimon? Digimon? Oh, yeah. Hackers who've got strong Digimon with them are con generally considered pretty hot. That's all you want to ask? Yes, it is. I think we have the correct solution. Digimon make you hot. Digimon? A shared interest in Digimon can create a lasting bond with a woman? Th that's it! That's how I can find a real, true love! I'm gonna go capture all the Digimon. This is all thanks to you. Prepare yourself, Digimon. And that's how he got a Redamon girlfriend. Happy ending. None of my Digimon make any kind of vocal noises at all. That's true? Uh, but they do talk in some cutscenes. Yeah, you get a, you have a Renamon persona, and the entire furry community chases you down. You have your pick of of life. Yeah, get stunned. I personally am part Moogle, and I can confirm that being partially corporate mascot aligned um, really, really helps attract attention. It's the ears. Everybody loves the ears. Okay, uh, the palm doesn't hurt. No, but it, it's the ears. Evolution Moogle are all about the Eerie. I'm too popular! Ah. Well, the tail isn't from being a Moogle. The tail is the, uh, squirrel side. My parents bonded over a, a shared interest in Kubo Nuts. Sad that Renamon has been pigeonholed as bottom tier zero effort furry waifu. When the first canon presentation of the show, she's a metaphor for lesbian codependence. Yeah, but Penguin, you can't expect furries to, uh... to have actually seen the source material in many cases. Um... I know for a fact that nine-tenths of the people drawing furry porn of particular characters have never, ever seen the source material that, that the character is from. Of 
For example, and stop listening if you maintain the illusion that I am innocent. I've seen pornography of the bird mascot from Super Robot Wars X. And in the description, the artist flat out admits they have no idea who the hell this is. But they were asked to draw that character and so they did. And it's kind of like, oh, well, okay. I guess. And I mean, I guess you don't need to know the character intimately in order to, uh, intimately depict the character, so to speak. But it feels strange when so many people do it. And again, when do artists have time to watch television? They're busy really doing art. Admittedly, Hideo Kojima watches movies all the time, but Hideo Kojima is a billion dollar industry unto himself. Uh, many artists I I took the wrong turn. Bye. Goodbye, Rekamon. I'm sorry, Rekamon. Goodbye forever. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I'm, I feel bad. Lots of artists have people running in the corner of the Picario screen. Okay, to be fair, I don't know what Picario is, so you're ahead of me on that one. And I gotta go back around, and I gotta go down where Repamon is. Uh, I gotta circle around, and that, I think, is the staircase out of this area. This, these marathon weekends are, they're starting to feel less God, The encounter rate is uh, a little bit nuts. Anyway, these marathon weekend streams are starting to feel more like, like chat streams. With a game in the background, and that's depressing. I, I would love to really, uh... Give y'all something dynamic and interesting to focus on that isn't me. But instead, please have me getting back attacked by bitey potatoes. These potatoes got teeth. Little cell. No. Uh, this is a very grindy rogue. It's not a roguelike. It does have a design plot. Like, it has stuff. It's just... Okay, um... Here's an example of why you would digivolve up and down. Agumon has learned a lot of magic attacks. But I don't believe his stats are suited for magic. He's never suited for magic. Uh, hold on. It just occurred to me that I have equipment that I could, um... Yeah, I could just, I could give them... I'll give you some defense. I'll give you hit points and attack. And I'll give you speed. Okay. 
Yeah, we're not doing hot girl shit and beating up dinosaurs or alien girlfriend at the tree. Eve 9 was on the vote. It was on the vote sheet. It got, like, no, almost no votes. I was shocked by that, honestly. Um, am I not? I think I am supposed to go this way. Which reminds me, those two, the Digimon you helped, told me something. They said I smelled reassuring and familiar. I wonder what that meant. Could it mean I met them once before? Wait, what are you doing? Why are you bringing your nose so close? You were checking what I smelled like. Huh. And what did you smell? I see, yeah. I see, I think <laughs> just drifting backwards. You still haven't checked over there yet, right? Hey, what are you doing? Knock it off! Did you hear that voice? And you really heard it, right? Voice, it has to be. I hope you all can hear the music all right. I really like the music in this game. Uh, we can level up before this. Or we can try and digivolve. At least. Uh, 30, 30. I wanna... Yeah, we can now level Dracomon. I wanna try this one. A little loud compared to my voice. Yeah, I've got it turned way down. And it's still very loud. Ooh. Cordramon Green. That is an Earth type, yep. Alright, I want to, uh. Oh, I forgot we had an Otamamon. Okay, cool. Let's, uh. Hold on. Corn. Look at the thing. I'm sure. Let's uh, swap you in in place of Anklamon for a moment. Let you get some experience. Anklamon can take a back seat, and we'll only have one Earth in the party at a time. Yeah, this will be fine. My little pals! They must be in danger. Let's hurry. Hold on a second. What are you doing to those critters? Nokia! Huh? What are you gonna do about it? We found these things fair and square. That means we can do whatever we want with them. You got a problem with that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do have a problem with it. In fact, I've got nothing but problems. Are you ready for me, punk? Yeah, you're so cool! Oh, really now? What are you gonna do about these problems, hmm? No, you're almost my type, too. Yeah! What could you possibly do? Where's that gonna happen? Cross us, and there's a thousand ways you'll live to regret it. It talks big, but your body's telling another story. You're shaking like a leaf, aren't you? Yeah, you are my type, aren't you, huh? You're barking up the wrong tree. I've got a problem, but what's more? My friend has a problem with you. Ain't that right, Paprika? What was it you said? Don't worry, my dear Nokia, you leave those zacks and thugs to me? Yes, well said, Paprika. You are truly worthy of being my pupil. Now, time to put those words into action. I really like Nokia. I like her a lot. Nokia, you're maybe not so cool after all. Gabumon, no! Top 10 anime betrayal. What is that? Is that some kind of joke? I'm getting sick of this. We'll shred your boat, we'll take your account, and then rip you up. Hey, 
Eh, that's not gonna be a problem. Uh, let's just... Mush. Monty Python! And, uh... Yeah, I believe we happen to be elementally strong against these losers. Ooh, anti-stun. Um, yeah, alright, that's nice. Wow! You were really something just there! I have nothing further to teach you, my pupil. But enough of that for now. We gotta get to the Digimon. Non, non, non! You kids! Nay, rock, pause! I'm Desarian, I'm sorry about the French. Huh? That voice! It's Jimmy Ken! What? Jimmy Ken? The Jimmy Ken? Yes! I am Jimmy Ken! Yahoo! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! You kids, you aren't rad at all! What happened to make you so unhip? Tell me, please, like Asa. So sorry, Jimmy Ken. That girl's totally my type and she stole my heart. Wow, an excuse! Lols? Totally not rockin' lols! So far from rock and roll, Lamo. If I had to choose lyrics to suit you, Inside out, you worthless lout, even the heavens are gonna give up on you. It's perfect for you, it makes me wanna puke. You picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> I kind of love, hate Jimmy Ken. Deeply. We're, uh, we're picking it up, it. Well then, okay. Now then, you two, you little, you little fools took a hand to these punks. But why, Jimmy Ken? Why? A foolish question, that lulls. So foolish it rocks my socks, Lamo. I may be a superstar, but I have one more face. What? To the world, I am a superstar. But behind the scenes, I'm a top-ranking member of the Vaxxon Hacker Team. What do you think of that? <clears throat> I'm sorry I couldn't get through that line. It rocks! It's devilishly rock and roll! Yeah, baby, lol! I feel like I should be reading him like Austin Powers. But you too, Ruffle! Why give them a hard little time over a thing like Digimon? It's kinda rad, but lol. You're kidding, right? You've gotta be joking! Wait, could you two possibly be... Folks who like to say pets are family? Well, You want to save the world with love? Well, folksy people like that are still around, I guess. You picking up what I'm putting down? Just knock it off. My MP is way down. It's been at zero for a while. I think all of my hard-earned money wasted. I just want to curl up and die. What? Wasted money on me? You want to fight with me? Well, It's not rock if I don't answer your challenge. My style would feel easy on no one, even scum. You're rocking it too much, Jimmy Ken. Knock him sideways, Jimmy Ken. Whoa. Oh, he is really out of it. What happened to her? Let's try cheering her on. Uh, go for it, Nokia. Agumon, Gabumon, I'm sorry. I can't keep going. There's no way I can stand up to this dream crush attack. You found a weakness. Of course, Jimmy Ken comes with only the most heavy metal of Digimon. Oh, this is gonna be bad.
This is gonna be bad. It's fine, we'll just keep healing up. Oh, well, maybe it's not that bad. Destruction can't. I can't green flare breath again. I can't hit for big, big damage. Beat on it until he died. Uh, maybe I can save up with him. That's doing good damage. One who can also cast Saint Knuckle. And that wasn't as bad as I imagined it was gonna be. Hey, yeah, baby. What's this? This Digimon is useless. It's too lame, lol. That don't rock. It's not the Digimon's fault. You're the lame one. Whoa, the fury of the flower bread. Lol. So, you know, I ain't even gotten serious yet. Was that a prelude or are we just tuning up? Well, I've got a more powerful Digimon next. It's sure to get you headbanging, you heard? Enough. Stop this now. Yikes. Aw, oh, this ain't good. Hey, 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 what a coincidence. Running into you here like this. Is that you, Go, the leader of Team Zaxxon? Huh? No more of this high-handed foolishness. Your style has led the group too far astray. What? You might be the team leader, but you think you can tell me what to do when I'm your buddy and one of your top dogs? Lol. You lording your power over me? Force in your hand? Saxon's rules must never be broken. Rules? Lol. Those have long gone by the wayside, baby. 
course it was me who got rid of most of them. Rock and roll, baby! This is how y'all are gonna talk to your leader? Oh look, Say has come all this way, lol. For little old me. Lomo. I'll say this one more time. Vaccine rules. <laughs> You're kidding, right? You big kidder, you. It's a rockin' joke, I'm telling you. You go the super hacker's gonna set me straight? No way, Jose. Not no way, not no how. Believe me, I do not think any force in the universe could set you straight, my man. We're not even gonna try. You're gonna ice me for real? Well, have your lover there do it for you, I suppose? All a big joke, just a joke. Like, why so serious? Am I right? I gotta, ch I gotta. Ch when did that movie fucking come out? <laughs> okay, uh, sure. Why so serious? All right, I'm gonna jet here in a bit. I got shows and gigs and all that to do. Bye bye. So, uh, how long are y'all just gonna stand there looking stupid? What? Seven years? Okay, then it's probably... Yeah, alright, so... I don't know what hacker group y'all are in, but we'll overlook this for now. Go on, get it. What? Whoops. I... Whoa, shit! I set it to auto mode somehow. Wrong button. Uh, she basically just was like... Hey, Hey, sweet Digimon. You think you can just show up and say that? As if. I'm not giving them to you. Really? You want to have a go with me, Precious? Well, that's just fine and dandy. Makes me all warm and fuzzy. Take right good care of y'all. Enough, Faye. This is a pointless argument. Let's go. Ah, shucks. I was just feeling pretty good about it, too. We'll probably have a chance to meet y'all again sometimes. Don't forget this, here. I know I ain't forgetting that face. See y'all later. Who the heck was that? Ugh. Hooray, it's Nokia. Nokia came for us. Thank you for saving us. Oh, I didn't do anything. If you want to thank someone, thank Paprika. Thank you. Even still, this place gives me the creeps. Let's get out of here for now. I feel much better back here, don't you? Aw, oh, Hagumon, Gabumon, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> we felt like seeing you again, so we came looking for you. That's when we ran into those scary guys. They chased us off. That was a close one. If they'd captured us, we'd have been doomed. Uh, I don't really understand this very well yet, but... Weren't Digimon like you? I mean, aren't you programs created by hackers? What? You think that we were created by humans? <laughs> huh? Wait, what's the deal? Did I say something that Digimon find funny? She said it, didn't she? Yeah, she did, she did. She said humans created us. We didn't? Nokia, come on, of course you didn't. We're alive the same as you, aren't we? Look at us, it should be obvious. Yeah, well, I get that you're alive like we are, sure. Check this, Nokia. We come from a different world than the one you humans know. A different world? Uh-huh, we call it the digital world. The digital world? Normally, the digital world where Digimon live and the human world aren't connected. But something happened, and now the two worlds come together from time to time. That's why there are so many Digimon wandering around lost in your world. Those scary guys capture Digimon and force them to do whatever they're ordered to do. We can only exist in digital space. But nearly all the digital space in the human world was created by humans. That might be why we get mistaken for programs made by humans. I like that phrase that nearly all the digital space was created by humans. There, there's like pockets of digital space that are non-human. Let's, uh... Let's 
table that for now. Well, do you understand? The lore of Digimon is confusing. I don't find it that confusing. Uh, yes, I do, I see, I think. How about you? Did you follow that? Digimon are inhabitants of the digital world. You're kidding me. You understood that? For the time being, let's say that you, Digimon, from a different world, wandered into our world and got lost, right? Well, me and Gabumon are different. We came to this world of our own free will. There's something we need to do here. Something you need to do? What would that be? That would be... Oh, something you can't talk about? Could it be maybe... World domination? That's not it. The truth is, we can't remember. Uh, and it must have been very important, too. What did we come here for? So, we've got a couple of amnesiac protagonists on our hands. Um, that's odd. How long has the... How long has this been off screen? One second. I want to check something. Huh, um... There was a, bo a bottom line to this text bubble that vanished for a second. I don't know. Whatever. It's gonna be okay, trust me. You'll remember soon, I'm sure of it. And I can help you. Let's do our best to help each other out until you remember, okay? Streamed it, Blip came back. Well, I'm glad it came back. Nokia. Thanks, Nokia. We'll do our best. What should we start doing our best at? Alright. Uh, I kind of figured trying our best would be enough for starters. Like, running towards a point on the horizon. Like, feeling you could do anything with enough energy. Let's start by doing our best to think about what we should do. Okay, Nokia. I might not understand this, but I'm willing to do my best now. I'll do my best too. So what do you say, Nokia? Can we stay with you? Eee, you're such cutie pies. Of course you can. Let's be together forever. Agumon, Gabumon, let's be besties from now on. Sure. Looks like it's case closed, I guess. Good work out there. Normally, we'd go back to the agency, have some coffee, and I'd thank you. But I need you to head directly to Shinjuku. A mysterious incident has occurred in Shinjuku. Could you go and give me an eyewitness report? And if you could do it before the police arrive on the scene, that would be appreciated. I heard that. You have to go right away, huh? Thanks, Paprika. Without you, I never would have been able to help my new Digimon pals. Sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. Good luck in Shinjuku. I'll do my best, too. Thanks. See you soon. Together, forever, never apart. Together, forever, three. I think it's from Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, second or third mix? Thanks for being around. It's not much, but I sent you something. I didn't think you'd find G Ag 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 Gabumon and Agumon so soon. Are you a super sleuth? Hehe, <laughs> thanks. Okay, um, we need to... We need to get all those items... That keep getting, uh... Sent to us from the farm. Like six hit point B capsules. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Devimon. And when can we next evolve? Uh, level 30 some. 30 some. 30 some. 30 some. But our party memory is completely packed. So for the time being, these are our Digimon. 
Didn't I get more memory on the- I did! I did get more memory. Now we have 35, which means I think we can afford to evolve, uh... Uh, we cannot in fact afford to evolve anybody right now, but we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Mm. But, one thing we can- whoops, no, did you lab? Not Eden. One thing we can do is log out of the Eden, log back into the Digilab, and pick up a carry-along. Well, Talamon, this little fishy Digimon, can be dropped in the back row. Until we can evolve it at level... 12 to 14, in which case, somebody else may have to go on the back burner. But right now, we can carry them along the other one. So what's happening in Shinjuku? Chapter 4, The Shinjuku Underground Labyrinth Incident. It's happening on the other side of that crowd. Let's go. Let's go. Um. Yesterday, Sakura was late to school for a change. Any idea why? Maybe she lost track of time listening to Jimmy Ken. Forever I swear by your sincere gaze, my only love, my heart craves for pain. What the heck is that? Let's go. Sounds like Kyoko has been taking care of you. Try not to cause her trouble. Got it. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's... something. Do you have any idea what this is? Yeah, the whole phenomenon is hard to wrap my head around. I've never seen anything like it. But still, there's got to be a way for us to get inside it, don't we, do you think? Hey, you! Stay right where you are! One more step and I'll arrest the both of you! Huh? Crap, this girl's the last thing we need right now. This is a crime scene, and I won't have you messing with it. The great Makiko Date isn't going to go easy on the punks responsible for this mess. Maybe I should bail before this becomes a whole ordeal. Hey you, I told you to freeze, didn't I? Huh? I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, what was it? That one hacker team. Uh-oh, come on, let's bail. Hey, you stop right there! Well, fuck the police! Gotta find a way out of here. Looks like this is the only way. Well, don't knock until you've tried it, I guess. <whistles> fuck the police, we're out! I love the music in this game so much. Is this place real or digital? Oh, you think there's a difference? What's going on? This is too strange. Like two worlds are intersecting. I can't make heads or tails of this. I don't think there's anything wrong with my head. Well, there must be something wrong with your tail. At least the cops won't be after me here. I wonder what's back there. A demon or a snake is back there. Let's think of a plan once we see it. A demon or a snake? <laughs> That's what he hits us with. There's a demon or a snake back there. Okay, sure. Well, let's explore. 
Ooh! Doromon! I want a Doromon. I forgot I want a Doromon. Actually. Uh... Ah, that didn't work. That did. Doramon's got a great tail. It's got little bat wings. He's uh, the progenitor of dragons. He's great. I love Doramon. Dragon defeats dragon. And yeah, Otamamon's leveling up in the background. Hey, which do you think a Digimon is more like? A demon or a snake? Since the Digimon's turned up, this must be the digital world, right? Yet this still feels very much like the real world, right? But we're not going to get anywhere by just thinking about it. Regardless, these Digimon seem to be a bit on the wild and vicious side. So knowing that, what that's what they were like... I made sure to get my hands on some slightly tougher Digimon. We never know when we might get attacked like something like that black one from the other day. You've got your Digimon too. So next time it crosses our paths, we'll delete it for sure, yeah. In battle, the careless lose first. What? What do you mean? I thought this before, but you're strange. Sometimes I don't understand what you're saying. Do you lack any sense of self-awareness or something? Either way, I guess you're at least pretty fascinating. I fucking hate that he came to my home and he pinned me like this. I completely lack any sense of self-awareness. Uh, people other than the protagonist or Digimon can participate in battles. You cannot command them, but they will support you. Yeah, Arata will support me in battle. Are you okay? You've been quiet for a while now. What? I need to report to the agency, but there's no connection. What are you talking about? What agency? The detective agency you work at? You're a super cool cyber sleuth. Super cool? I mean, a cyber sleuth? A digital detective? Really? That's incredible. I don't quite get it, but it's incredible. You really are something, aren't you? No, that that wasn't a compliment. Well, communication is out. I've been trying for a while now, too, and in here there's no net communication at all. Digital wave must be unstable. No way, you're gonna make me explain digital waves to you. Look it up later, do a search. Thanks, Arata. Instead of expedition, I get fucking Google it, bitch. Thanks, Arata. More importantly, let's talk about this cyber sleuth thing. I want to hear more than, more about that. Oh, you're gonna make me explain being a cyber sleuth to you? Why don't you look it up later? More information about cyber sleuths can be found on the internet. Don't get me wrong. It's not because I think it's interesting. Because I want to try it out. It's just plain intellectual curiosity. A peaked interest. It must be weird, though, being a cyber sleuth. What's it like? I've only read about it in comics. No, that's enough. I've lost interest already. Crap. I want to imagine he just walked like 10 feet and fell down the stairs. Okay, I want to know. I want to know. Tell me more about it. What's it like being a cyber sleuth? What cases have you solved so far? What's your boss like? Tell me everything. This is the same as the one from Kowloon the other day, right? I think we just had an intrusive thought.
What is it? What happened? We saw the ghost of the white boy. Hey, don't look at me. This is no time to be fooling around. What? There was a ghost? The ghost of the pale boy that all of Eden has been going on and on about? You saw it in Kowloon? For real? You're not trying to con me. You'd be the only one who isn't. Anyone can tell you're really soft-hearted. You clearly saw something strange. You got a good look at it, yet saw nothing. And it left something in your head as if something were pushed into it. That's freaky. Frustrating. To be on the cusp of remembering, and yet... What the heck is that? What does it mean? Yeah... Well, it's another lead to follow, perhaps. Come on, let's go. So, now we're gonna explore the, uh, digitized train station for more. And beat up little squishy dudes. Oh, we have two Earth Digimon in the park. Oh, well, it's fine. One of them is a dragon, so it's fine. This is a cutscene trigger, like, every few feet here. Hey, you notice that? Listen up, you, or should I say, sleuth. Someone, something's been following us for the last while. I don't know exactly what or who it is. A Digimon, or a ghost, or maybe it's her. Show yourself. Come on out. Oh my, I've caught your attention. Uh, there would be Japanese voicing here, but I have the voicing turned off. Oh dear, oh dear, good day to you. Whoa, easy there, let's not be hasty. I am nothing to be scared of, I assure you. Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Akine Sudo. I'm a researcher for Kamashiro Enterprises. I am currently studying this strange phenomenon. You're alone? Yes, I am alone. I'm very much the only specialist capable of making these breakthroughs. Though I'd still very much appreciate it if they gave me an assistant. I tell you, it's a terrible company. Why were you following us? I hadn't thought there were humans who made it further in than I had. I wanted to observe things for a bit. But did I happen to unsettle you? There's no excuse for that, I apologize. Well, I guess it's no big deal. But if you're in the mood to apologize, tell us what this is. We want to know. Oh dear, put it that way, and I can hardly refuse. I trust you won't go around blabbing about this to just anyone? Sure thing, right, Paprika? Very well then, I should tell you. But my tale comes out of my work process and is, at best, the result of inductive reasoning. I caution you, it is not a final conclusion. To begin, let's discuss the space we are in. The space exists within a certain phenomenon. We're in the whirlpool of a special digital wave. You know what I'm referring to, a digital wave. It's a flow of energy that carries digital information, correct? Brilliant, straight from the textbooks. This may still be the real world, but it's still a world made of digital information. To put it in the very simplest of terms, the real world has transformed into cyberspace. As a result, everything here has become data, even human thought. That's quite the leap of logic, isn't it? <laughs> I won't deny that. My colleagues often deem my idea as rather... heretical. Some even compared me to Nikola Tesla. Well, that's more than well and good, but I, I do try not to let the praise go to my head. But enough of that, have a look at this! The irregularities of this internal structure should indicate right away that we're dealing with digitized data made from human memories. They merge with reality, giving rise to this bizarre and complex space. That's my theory, in essence. Now allow me to ask you a question. Have you encountered an eater yet? An eater? What is that? Now that's the term I've coined for those 
entities that devour and eat away at things. You mean that thing that looks like a black and white Nautilus shell? That freaky program? Precisely. To have escaped an encounter with an eater unscathed. You don't know how lucky you are. When an eater preys upon something, all its comprising data is eroded away and becomes glitched. Glitched, what does that mean? All structure and algorithms become disordered data. Glitched, completely defective. And once that data becomes glitched, it cannot be restored. Oh dear, how frightful that would be. How truly frightful indeed, indeed. So you end up being eaten. That's the common theory at any rate. I do not happen to agree, however. What? There must always be a way to restore data. It is illogical to assume otherwise. I don't know, man. Have you tried, like, writing over it 30 or 40 times? Not in the metaphysical sense, mind. I'm talking about actual digital phenomenon. And in that case, bugs are a thing we are well aware of. Therefore, I am pressing on with my eater research. Hey, mister, calm down. Let me get this straight. Kamashiro knows about these eaters? That doesn't sound good. Well, that goes without saying. That's why I'm pursuing this research. Wow, so they did know about them. Those admin creeps have been stonewalling me. Well, they are a business providing a service. There's lots that needs to be kept confidential. I told you, it's a terrible company, didn't I? There's more I want to ask on that front. Yes, I see. If I can provide an answer, I shall ask away. But before that... You appear to be hackers, am I correct? You possess the Digimon Capture Program. And you have marvelous Digimon programs as well. What's it to you? Well, frankly put, I want to fight off the Eater that is likely roaming around here somewhere. What? An Eater is here too? Did you not see a strange apparition before? Perhaps you know it as the Ghost of the Pale Boy? That is indicative of an Eater's presence. A harbinger, I suppose you could say. An Eater's existence both impacts the digital world and serves to induce it. That's my thoughts on the matter at any rate. That the digital wave itself might be impacted by these Eaters. If so, we cut off the head and the body should, body should wither away. To back up this theory, I'd like to ask for your assistance, if I may. You're a researcher, aren't you? You should have secret weapons at your disposal, right? A camera watch that can detect hidden objects? Or a ball we can stuff captured creatures into? Or do you read too many manga? Those are some oddly specific examples there. It turns out that, at present, our best weapon against the eaters are Digimon programs. Those programs are particularly bug resistant. They can resist erosion with little difficulty. Yeah, but Mr. Sudo, it's not that I don't believe you. But you want us to write with that thing out, right? Well, that just happens to be our goal as well. Oh, excellent. Best of luck to you, then. Well, then, we're off for revenge. Let's find our way back to the regular world. The longer we're here, the weirder my head gets. I don't know, Arata. Your head was already pretty weird. I shall await you here. If you have any questions, come and seek me out. The regular world, you say, and where exactly might that be, I wonder? There's an ordinary world Somehow I've got to find Uh, Pseudo reminds me of the, uh... The character from Dark City that's played by... Donald someone or other. The doctor character. He always gives me that mental impression somehow. Maybe it's just that I really like Dark City. I don't know. Too much. 
Kinda of using the link with Arata's Digimon, which is cool. Comet Hammer. I like the sound of Comet Hammer. More HP cast for B. There's a metal down here. I I'll either Earth Mon, they're not gonna care if I kinda hammer them. A defense down, you say? That was my own fault. I shouldn't have tried to get fancy. Wow, we're we really are a force to be reckoned with, you know. There's some good levels, though. I'll have to check when Atomimon can level up. Come on, though. There are pieces to metal, I promise. It's memory up! Oh, good. Eat a ram stick. Now I think I can give you somebody. Phone like timed out. I am still. Yeah, because I'm still alive. Good. Okay. Hopefully, most of y'all are watching uh, Celine. Celine right now is streaming a bunch of CDI games emulated. I'm. I think she worked really hard to get them working. Uh, so. If you're interested in that, drop my stream and pop over to twitch.tv slash Jorteo. That's, uh, K-J-O-R-T-E-O. -E Go watch her. It's cool. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Silverstar, for the... for the shout-out. Get to hit with, uh... Oh well. You have two monitors! Um, so do I, but I can't handle watching a stream, like, either while I'm streaming or while I'm... Well, I have watched streams with other streams in the past. It's just really, really awkward. Got IC card. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with the IC card. What do you do with an IC card? Maybe I should look at it and find out. Because I'm a big butt butt. I'm a double butt. I'm, I'm two butts stayed together. Look at that item and see what we do with it. Need it to pass through the ticket gate. It doesn't recharge. Um, I'm at the ticket gate and I can't seem to pass through it.
Well, I'll have a quick look around and see if I missed a, uh, a terminal. If not, maybe it's back on one of the previous areas. Although this should look like a ticket gate right here. I kind of wish I could turn off random encounters for just like five minutes. And I mean, this looks like a place I should be able to go to. Can I maybe use it for my inventory? No. And I can't go past this. I am a little, um, uh, subtle. Very lightly befuddled. Can I go back and ask what's his name? Yeah, maybe I can. I will reverse. Oh, there's an exclamation point back here. Okay. Fine. Oh good, here's the terminal. We can uh, pop to the Digilab real quick and evolve... ...one of our Digimon at least, I'm sure. We can evolve... we can probably evolve a Tom Otomamon. Uh, we can't evolve it to whatever this is, because it needs a defense, but... We can pick any of these. I'm curious about what this is with the ears, and I'm curious about what appears to be a flying whale. Anybody have a preference? Ears or whale? I will take whoever the first chime in is. Ears have done us well so far. Ears have it. Let's see if these are ears, in fact. They look like ears. Oh, that's those aren't ears. Hi, Gekamon. So Gekamon here it has had an incident with a with a trombone, maybe? With trumpets? Gekomon is kind of derpy, but we love... We love him. We, we love and support the, the weird Digimon in the South. A French horn? Possibly. So I'm not gonna throw him out or anything. Oh. Uh, had a stutter there. So I'm gonna save, just in case. And I'm gonna, um... One moment. I'm gonna just step away for a second and adjust the fan and such in here. and open the window a little bit. We're good. It's a gecko mod, huh? Um. Alright, let's go ahead and swap gecko mod into the party temporarily. I hope there's no, uh, boss fight up here, which would have me with a level 1 Digimon. I'm so good at this, guys. I'm so good at this. Whoa, is this the ghost you were talking about? It's looking at us. It 
and went and disappeared on us. Knock it off. Do you know who that was? Do you even have a clue who it might be? I'm imagining things, that's all, yeah. Yeah, here's that boss fight! Ha <laughs> ha! What good timing I have. Dang, here it is. If his theory is correct, taking the eater down will also collapse this strange phenomenon. Right? And if that happens, what happens to us who are inside of that phenomenon? We gotta do it. Thanks for saying what I was thinking. Oh, it's fine. We still have- we can swap. Cause they're still in our party. Ow. Absolutely fucking beautiful. Alright, let's uh, comet hammer it. That did basically nothing. Uh, they're not stunned, they're paralyzed, so... Uh, these are tanky. These are really tanky. Intelligence penetrating, medium ne neutral attack on one foe. Alright. Ironically, that hurt the most of anything we've thrown at him. Oh boy! Alright, there we go. We're good. Do you have squid problems? Dragon! Just dragon, it never fails! And my boy Gekomon caught eight levels off that. Well, seven. That's pretty good. What's happening? This is Shinjuku. What do you know? The old man's theory is right. <laughs> the eaters and the ghost of the pale boy. This is a riot! It's spectacular! And to top it all off, there's you! A cyber sleuth! <laughs> oh, this is all too, too funny! Reality is some pretty dull stuff, no doubt about it. But this? This is something else. But getting back to business. I'm going to dig into these eaters a little more. Maybe help out with Sudo's research. There's something interesting about him. Speaking of which, where is he? Is he here? In a sense, he's more of a pain than that eater. Well, I'm off. And you, don't let yourself get eaten, okay? See you later. Under arrest, punk! What? You're not getting away from me. I see. So that's what the mess was. Yet, at the same time, it's very fortuitous. Info that's normally hard to come by in a normal investigation was right there in front of us. Even clues need to get lucky sometimes. What to call this case? For now, let's go refer let's refer to it as the Shinjuku Labyrinth case. A labyrinth is part of the underworld and folklore, otherwise known as a Meohiga. The spirit world, the netherworld, the land of the dead. It's a world beyond the borders of our own, out of phase, if you will. That's what the special phenomenon that appeared in Shinjuku must be. Maybe labyrinth isn't quite the right word. 
but it's close enough. The reference comes from a collection of folklore tales by Kunio Yanakita, if you're ever interested in looking deeper into it. I love that this game provides its own reading list. I, there was a, a short period when I played this game the first time, uh, back in 2017, I believe, where I was looking for these guys at my library. It's hard to find translated collections, though, and I don't really speak Japanese. As you can probably tell by my pronunciation of that last word. The important part is, much as in these folklores about labyrinths, the phenomena reoccur over and over. In a way, I'm jealous you got to experience it firsthand. Parallel worlds really do exist. The digital world. Digital world? Where did you hear that name? I already gave the details in my report. I see. So after taking on Nokia Shiramine's case, you headed straight to Shinjuku. I missed that. And you claim Digimon are not programs created by humans, but intelligent life forms from a parallel world. Of course I believe you. I only know a tiny bit about the digital world. Let's put aside the digital world question for the moment. It's not a riddle we can solve right now. Let's go back and talk about the Shinjuku Labyrinth. Right before I took you on as an assistant, there were some unsolved cases in Shinjuku. And then you uncovered the Shinjuku case. Not to mention the Labyrinth case on top of that. My theory is that this all stems from irregularities of digital waves regardless. Those digital waves are growing unstable at key locations throughout Tokyo, not just Shinjuku. Since it's not at a level that impacts our daily lives, we ignore it as being within the range of error. Or the, you know, SEP field, as some put it. The issue is not the state of growing instability, but rather what's causing it. Why now? Is it natural or human interference? Is it an alien or paranormal phenomenon? This is an interesting case. We should press on with our investigation. By the way, while you and I were out of contact, I decided to make the best of my time, so I whipped up a special new coffee blend. I was certain you'd be back with results. That was an elementary deduction. You've really been giving it your all. Your work has been excellent. And now, as a reward, I've got a treat for you. <laughs> I put a lot of effort into this. Isn't it incredible? The miraculous harmony of coffee, yogurt, and seaweed boiled in soy. I got 100 case points. And new kidney disorder. Yay. I haven't picked up any cases lately. I better take on a few before Kyoko forces me. Yeah, that is a notification that you have a free case period. Uh, and I just got a whole bunch of stuff. And I got a couple of replies, I think. Yo, could you shake the cops after that? You gotta be smarter than that. I can't believe you ran away first and left me behind. So, alright, first off, let's stop in and, uh... See what we got from the farm. Alright, we can't do that. We have to step outside real quick. Let's step outside. Check on the farm. At least this game feels very snappy, you know? Alright, Farm Island, stand by. There are only two on the farm right now. Uh, I could- I should probably change that. Let's see, uh, Gekomon evolves at 30 or so. Pretty much everybody we have evolved at 30 or so. I am gonna put, uh, Akilamon on the farm. I am going to put Anklamon on the farm and swap for Unimon.
and... I think I'll take Ice Gavimon with us. That gives us two blue viruses. I don't know about that. Maybe I should level down to uh, something else. But... I don't know. Uh, I think this is save game. No, wait. I need to save my game here. I am going to step away for a moment. I have been hydrating a bit too much. I will return in just a few seconds. push this out to about uh, 10 o'clock or 10 o'clock local time so another half hour I think and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'll set you guys free and let you all uh, do whatever you like so let's take some cases from the bulletin board as said get up here. Uh, one new case, a life crisis. Let's go ahead and finish off the wanted hackers. Just to get a couple of levels on people. Uh, unfortunately, I think you can only take one case at a time. Which is rough. But it's fine. We're just gonna, um... Jog around Kowloon for a few seconds. And then we'll do the other, like, lost property case. That'll involve jogging around Kowloon for a few seconds, and we're done. And it's not like it takes long to, uh... Wolf these guys, either. But yeah, at 10, at 10 o'clock, I'll be letting you guys run free. Uh, keep your complaints to yourself. Just avoiding complications, Cybersloop. I forgot to set another farm program going. So we're also going to have to do that. My Digimon are all friends, they can chain combo like a boss. Or like a trio of bosses. And you know, I'm gonna put Gekomon in the in the back for now. And bring nice Gavimon up. So now we got Team Wings! I 
I do like Team Wings. And normally, maybe I wouldn't be using Ice Kevin on because he's kind of weird and creepy. But he gave us so many things from the farm. Like, he gifted us so much stuff that I almost feel bad not using him for a while. It's emotional blackmail is what it is. Um... Akilamon just sent, sent me something it's like... It'll shower you with items. Here he is. It's the hacker from the blacklist. With these Digimon, I'll be the strongest hacker ever. Anyone who tries to stand in my way gets a one-way ticket to a beatdown. Um... Not really seeing the strongest hacker ever thing. Sorry. For one thing, you're running an Impmon. Rookie mistake. For a second, I have a dragon. Rookie mistake. Oh, well. Okay. Everybody get some big experience. Damn it. I still have a long way to go, I guess, but I'm not giving up. Not by a long shot. I'll train my Digimon, and I'll be back. If you wait. Looks like the hacker has repented now. That's really the opposite of the implication I got. Time to go back to the office and report this. Uh, what we need to do, I think, is buy a supply of those... escapes? Yeah, export. We need to buy a supply of those. From somewhere. I'll check the... Yeah, actually I want to check the store real quick. See, you've been working hard for Murray. Nice job. Mm-hmm. I just want to check the store outside real quick. Bye. Escape gate. Home gate. Interesting. But yeah, let's purchase about, uh, ten of these. Hmm. Five of these. That ought to speed up our time getting out of here. Quite a bit. Warp wires? Yeah. I sold these from Celine. Uh, a Goblin Mon's property. They dropped something. We're gonna go find it. Won't take long. Oh, hey. Hey, you're the famous cyber sleuth everyone's been talking about, right? I'm gonna lay it on you straight, detective. I lost my precious thing somewhere, and that's not good. Have you checked, uh, Horai, Shanghai, London, Paris? I'm pretty sure I dropped it somewhere around Kowloon Level 2. I'll make sure to pay you for your trouble, so could you go and look for detectives? It'd help me so much if you did. Hey, hey, loving. I'm sorry, I'm. I'm sorry, it's in my brain now. Someone stole the precious thing. could be anywhere around here. Uh, it's probably a tiny object on the ground. 
It's probably as deep in as we can go because of course it is. We are combo happy. Unimon is starting to get uh, high up there in level. We may be able to evolve Unimon soon. That'll be a thing. I can't believe Penguin, like, isn't here when there's precious thing jokes to be made. That's... The Penguin needs sleep. In fact, all of you probably need sleep. Everybody go to sleep right now. Everybody go to bed. Good for you. I will not go to bed. I will be up until, like, 9 in the morning playing World of Warcraft. So, uh, don't, don't, um, don't emulate me. Like, uh, really, I am back on the WoW. Don't, don't get back on the WoW, kid. It's not good for you. It's not good for your health. Can you play me on the original console? Yes, you can. Um, please purchase me on Steam or good old games. to go up and around pirated me oh no you wouldn't download us you did download us for a month see what you do is every time you pirate me uh it loses money from my original creator so what you do is you download me several thousand times and they'll go out of business. And then you can buy the stock in the company and you can own the original manufacturers. And then you just delete all the pirated copies and you make a whole ton of money and you can do whatever you want. That's how pirate economics works. <laughs> you made this, I made this image. Um, it is now. You made this. Original character. Do, do not steal. Please, help. I'm being stolen so much. Uh, someday I have to see what the fuck a Lalamon is. Bye. Apparently what a Lalamon is, is, uh, dead and on fire. Server has lots of space, you can- oh no. And there's the shiny thing. Got someone's property. And we would have to walk all the way back out. We are, however, smart. We're looking at the field guide for no reason because we're because we're smart. Explore. Whoa! Did you actually find it? Thanks so much. I really owe you one. I sent out your reward to your office already. Make sure to check to see if it's there in one piece.
That was not too bad, and we got some valuable levels. Let's do the plot mission. Tracking down lost objects is among the most basic skills any good detective has. So make sure you always stay on top of those cases. Alright. Click. I lost. A gear. Click. If I don't... Click. Find it. Click. I'll die. Help. Click. Me. Who transcribed that? Alright, apparently it's somewhere on the first floor? Oh, wait. I gotta read that again. Hold on. I read first floor and my mind went blank. Broadway first floor. Yeah. Out here. On the Broadway. Um, out here? No? These machines, um... They let you spin for metals. That's it. There's a metal collector guy. Uh, I... I don't know where he is. I think I missed him at least once. And I think that's bad because... If you don't talk to him every time, you miss out on some items or something. But I'm not going to worry about it because... Life's too short. And we got lots of games. There he is. You're the one who took the case? To tell the truth, right now, I'm not feeling too good. I'm probably just about to die, so I didn't know. One of the cogs that makes up my body, I lost it somewhere. It should be somewhere in this dungeon. Please bring it to me as soon as possible. Uh, so if we don't find the cog, Agurumon will drop dead. That's not ideal. So let's start investigating paths. This is a maze. Oh, hi. Look, it's Darugamon. I love him. Power Metal. I like Power Metal, too. It rocks. Ooh. My dragon is weak to fire? My dragon is weak to fire? Alright. I mean, I guess. Stop setting my dragon on fire! actually getting to the point where uh, this lovable team may be able to level soon. Let's try what's down here. Okay. I just went around the prongs. Let's do that again. This time we'll try this uh, second one here. Takes me here where I can drop off and get a chest. I think I will do that. I got some equipment. Uh, settings. Uh, SP. 
key attached. Try down here. But yes, I am able to scan for level threes now. I'm just uh that they're a nasty surprise. To see in a fight. Man's on fifth. Didn't help. But this is getting us the big XP, which is good. Everybody is leveling, everybody's doing well. We're getting IMs from Digimon. Uh, just want to check something. Heavy Strike 1, Spirit Drain. Spirit Drain, interesting. Okay. Nothing up here. Is this the way back? I don't think it is, so... Been a while since you were able to. Oh, hello, Hunter, and uh, thank you for the for the bits. Digital currency makes sense in this, since I am playing Digimon. And I hope you're well, by the way. I'm hoping this poor Gearmon doesn't like die before I have a chance to find his stuff. Yeah, I'm streaming later than usual. That I usually stream a bit earlier on the weekend. I don't like to step on other people's streams, and a lot of people I know tend to stream very late on the weekend. A headache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hammer. Yes, why not? One thing I really like is that instead of merely uh, super effective or not very effective, Digimon actually like shows you the percentage of effectiveness you have. It's a little more granular. Feeling. I am not, by the way, systematically exploring this dungeon in any kind of uh, useful or algorithmic fashion. So I'm getting, I'm going to be getting a little bit lost. It's hello, nightmare. Yo, get hold of me, nightmare. Oh, that didn't help. Oh! Ah. Well, I hope you learn to eat and drink in your sleep. Those sound like useful skills to know. To be fair, Silver Star, you cheat a little bit. You have a machine that blows liquidized water up your nose. Liquidized water? What the? It's liquidized water! Aerosolized water! What is liquid water? What the hell is that? 
Liquid water doesn't exist. Liquid water is a Mega Man boss. No, it's a Mega Man X boss. Uh... It's not like Liquid Water Man. Water and water and water, water, water. Oh hey, it's uh, Petmon. I like Petmon. Petmon, it was one of the evolution. <clears throat> That's right. Of Liquid Water. Was one of the evolutions for Pac-Man that we did not take. Uh, I do like the dude. Familiar with the water beam? Oh yeah, I am. I'm just pouring more liquid water right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the scarf. Uh, they're Naruto. They're Naruto. Naruto oxygen. Naruto Ostrich is definitely a Metal Gear Solid character. You cannot tell me otherwise. And we are raking in big levels. We are definitely going to, uh... Naruto Roadrunner will be super fast. Oh, I want to see the Roadrunner doing the Naruto run now. Oh, man. Okay, I want to rotate uh, the, the group a little, because Unimon is kind of getting beat up. So I want to... Pull out Repamon for a bit. Roadrunner doing the Naruto run. That is a delicious image. Oh, no. That doesn't do anything. Alright, um... One way that I know we didn't go... We didn't go up at the crossroads behind this Teleporter. Ow. Ow. Alright, I switched out... Switched out the wrong people. Shining laser, 20 light damage to all foes. How does this feel? Not well, but... We just gotta, uh, get these guys down a little bit more before they beat the hell out of me and I die. Oh my. Agility up! Watch him dodge everything I throw at him. No? Okay, good. Good work, team. Let's, uh... Get you two out of there. I don't know if that'll help. Like the music? Good. This is a great soundtrack. I love this soundtrack. Let's see what's up here. Uh, Big Spiral. Got a small gear. Ah, you found it. Quick, insert it into the hole in my back. 
So I'm still alive. Great! Just in the nick of time. I would have been done for if you hadn't helped me. Thank you. You are a lifesaver. So we literally just saved a dude's life. Like, there's no other way to refer to what we just did. We saved a guy's life. Uh, I just want to do a quick glance to see if there's any more. No, I don't think there's any more treasure. I think we're good. I think this was the big branch that I wanted to check. Right here. And I don't see any more treasure. So. Uh, this place should be added to my list of places I can go and get, um, like the mirror dungeons I can grind in here if I have to, I think. I'm not sure. Well, that didn't help. How about, uh, I'll be right. No. I must be misreading what the brown square is. Alright, Gekomon unexpectedly lethal with that horn. It goes to show you cannot judge by appearances. Gekomon is a stone cold killer. I was really scared while I was waiting for you. My body was breaking down. Thank you for helping me. I think he's still having some issues, but I don't know if that's just how he talks. Uh, let's go ahead and recover. I want to see how close we are to uh, Digivolving. Uh, we could... There are two Digivolutions we could do. And we couldn't do the third one because we do not have any AVI. How was my day? Did I have a good Friday? I did have a... I had a fine Friday. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the second one. I think. Let's find out what this is. Ah, Hippogriff Mon. Good. That's what I was hoping he was. I have exceeded party memory uh, by two points. As long as I can, as long as I've exceeded party memory, I might as well check if anybody else can did evolve. Not for a while. Not for a while. Not for a while. And not for a while. No. So, um. Here's the question. Do I dump one of the smaller Mon? Or do I dump the big expensive one? And I'm not sure what to do with them. Um... Gekomon? I could never. Yeah, alright. Gekomon can go to the farm for a little bit. Gekomon will learn on the farm. Bring one of the other sixes along. Uh, Eklamon could in fact be our new... Could indeed be... Exceeds party memory. Um... Put ice. Put ice heaven on back in the uh, farm. And then we can bring Gekamon anyway. Gekamon is unexpectedly uh, powerful, honestly, and I'd rather like to have him around. In fact, uh. Our party, right now, is going to be Gekomon, Hippomon, and Portamon. Oh, 
Oh, we've gone past 10. Uh, we're just going to turn in this case and then save and probably wrap up. Have you ever been to Shibuya's Scramble Crossing? It's definitely something you should see at least once. The terrain is fascinating there. That's true, it is. We've ranked up. We're an apprentice sleuth now. Great work. What do you say I pour you a cup of coffee for your troubles? And did not unlock any new cases? And our only hint is to go to the Shibuya Scramble Crossing. Which is where we'll go next time. Uh... I will probably spend some time grinding in the digital world. I might or might not. But either way, we'll pick up here tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be the same time, but we'll pick up around here tomorrow. So it was nice having y'all here. Oh yeah, a traffic scramble. That it is terrifying. Good luck and have fun with WoW. I am, I am, I feel, um... I feel deeply ashamed of myself that I'm having fun with it. But I'm having fun with it, so I can't... I can't not have fun with it. If I wasn't having fun with it, I wouldn't be doing it. Uh, we're gonna raid into Celine, unless she's about to shut down. I don't know if she is. Why am I ashamed to have fun with... Wow, because, um... Because I wasn't playing it for a long time because of personal reasons. And it feels awkward to be back on it. I feel like I'm, you know, a relapsed drug addict. But it's worth it. I'm having fun. I'm I'm mostly just doing pet battles and fishing. Uh, it's virtual tourism. It really is. Well, I'll decide later in the month if I want to... Buy the dragon expansion and go dragon some dragons. Go look at some dragons and admire some dragons and maybe be a dragon and dragon, 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 dragon. Dragon, 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 dragon. Dragon. Ah, hell. I've kobolded again. Anyway, uh, I'm going to raid into Celine. She's doing a bunch of CDI stuff, and I don't know, uh, don't know if she's about to shut down, unlock some old parrot. That is what I'm doing. I'm gonna unlock some foxes. Anyway, I'm gonna drop you on Celine and her CDI stream right now. Have a good evening, everybody.